Here's the hinge to a door frame. And do you know where that's from? From Belmar. From Belmar. New Jersey artist washed. Laura Petrovich Cheney uses salvaged wood to create her quilt like sculptures. Each is created out of a piece of a person's home or keepsake left behind from the devastating impacts of Superstorm Sandy. It's estimated about 346,000 homes were damaged or destroyed in New Jersey. The devastation was unbelievable. Piles and piles of wooden debris everywhere. And I just started collecting it and collecting it and collecting it. And I wanted to tell the story of what had happened and take pieces of everybody's life and piece them back together. Her artwork was on display at Kane University in New Jersey. Almost all of it sold. The gallery director isn't surprised. I'm very inspired by it, in part because it's very real. It's to our experience. Inside that art gallery, Petrovich Cheney told us where each section of wood was found and its story. Then she led us to this three-inch section of wood. And that's all that you were able to get from your parents' house? Uh, uh, just a little, a little piece from it. Yeah, sadly, that was it. And so this holds a lot of meaning. But my parents' shore house that I'd grown up in um, was destroyed. It took my dad about six months to repair it. And a week before the house was to be approved to, for him to move back in for their summer, he, he died. And that was a huge, a huge loss because it was completely unexpected. Petrovich Cheney still has a bedroom sized storage unit filled from top to bottom with wood, or as she says, people's memories. I feel like what I'm doing with resurrecting this wood, with giving it a second life, that I'm offering hope, um, second chances, and we all love second chances. We all need second chances. <laughs> In New Jersey, Reagan Meggie, The Weather Channel.